today I'm going to be showing you guys what I'm packing in Eli's Come and Come bag. So anyways, let's get on with the video. So this is the bag I'm going to be using. It's just my old school bag from uh, grade 10. I'm in grade 11 right now. And yeah, so I'm using a school bag or like a backpack because it's just more convenient and then my mom can just pick it up and go because we're not going to be coming back home like after school. My brother and I, we're not coming back home, we're going straight, like my mom's going to pick us up from the school. The first thing I'm going to be packing in is three towels. And you may be asking why I would just, why don't I just pack blankets or something and I do have one blanket right there you guys are going to see eventually but yeah the reason why uh, I'm packing towels is because when we took my other chihuahua home I'll insert a picture here I think uh, the whole way home which was three or four hours I can't remember I didn't pick her up my mom did because she was a Christmas present but uh, she threw up in the car and in my aunt's I don't know if we're going to use all three or not you might not even puke, but they're nice little warm towels anyways. So then, he's warm. So the next thing I have for him, which is like cleaning and stuff, more like that, is I'm packing these Huggies baby, swipe, baby wipes. They're like natural care and stuff. And the reason why I'm bringing these is because, um... Well, you know, it's kind of self-explanatory. So I can clean up his. If he pukes, I can clean up his puke. So I'm just going to put this in. And the reason why I have these is because um, I use them to take off my makeup. But I, my mom bought me makeup wipes, so I don't have to use these anymore. Except for just getting rid of them. So I can get rid of them by, with using them with Eli. Plus, the, they're, they don't stink. So that's really good. Otherwise, I would bring like Lysol wipes, but those stink and are in like a big container, so I don't really want to bring those. So the next thing on our list is a blanket, and I did bring a pretty big blanket. Now Eli does his breeder does provide a blanket, but um, I want him to be really cozy and warm, so I got him this bigger blanket. Hopefully, it's nice and warm for him. <laughs> Oh, this is getting full. Mom's going to be like, what did you pack in here? Alright, we probably don't need three towels, so we're just going to get rid of one of those towels. Because the blanket acts as like a towel, kind of, you know. Alright, the next thing on our list is, speaking of warm and stuff, uh, sweaters. So, um, he's probably never worn a sweater. I doubt he has. Because uh, the breeder has a lot of puppies she has to take care of and stuff. And no, he's not. He's not from a puppy mail. But, yeah. But we got him this little sweater. And it is of two snowmen. You guys might not be able to see it. But then uh, another sweater we have is this one. And it's like, and they're both knitted because those are really warm. But this one has a hood. Although I wouldn't use the hood on him because that's like kind of mean. He's going to be afraid enough. I'm not going to use the hood. But yeah. I'm packing both these because I don't know if he'll want to wear a sweater or not. But I like this one just a little bit more. But he might not. That The leg holes are pretty big. That's the problem. They're really big. But these ones are tiny so it'll work for him. But he might not want to wear a sweater or I don't know I just kind of wanted to put bring this pack a sweater for him just in case because I think this one's super cute and I feel like he'd like it a lot and I don't know I don't know the reasoning I did have a reason and then I kind of forgot it so you know it's probably not that important but we're just gonna put those ones on top and that's what we're gonna bring with him is a collar so this is a really really tiny collar it's like the size of my palm and I don't know if this is going to fit him if this will be too small we'll expand it if not then yeah 
my mom says we're probably not going to put a collar on him right away, but, you know, if we're going to be, uh, if he's probably not going to go out and, like, if we stop on the way home, which I don't think we will, but it takes an hour and a half, so he might, he might need to go to the bathroom because he'll be two months old. So, he'll, you're supposed to let them out every, like, every like hours the amount of age they are so every two hours if they're two months so he should be fine but I rather keep him on leash so yeah so I have a collar and if this collar doesn't fit him I'll just return it and that's why I still have the tag on it but I think it's pretty cute so and he does have a bigger collar already because I liked that one and I had to get it and then what else we have is his leash it's just green and it has bones on it and yeah it's just super cute it has bones and paw prints you guys can probably only see green it's the color of my bed uh duvet du i don't know what it is i can't remember honest guys guys i'm such bad i'm so bad with words so there you go and the final but not the not like not the least important. I don't know. Maybe it is least important. But I am bringing his teething ring with him. And I mean he hasn't used it yet. So I guess it's not really his. But uh, I bought it yesterday for him. And it is the brand like uh, Toys R Us Puppies R Us. So we got that. And it has two teething rings. And my older dog likes these too. So I want to know if Eli doesn't have... Uh, doesn't chew on them, then we'll just give them to Kipper. And then, whoop, I jump. So that is all we are packing in Eli's bag, except for the donkey bags. Mm -hmm.